you can start a photography business with only the essentials. Hey, I'm Sarah Petty, photographer and founder of one of the most profitable photography businesses in the United States. And it is my passion to help photographers be able to make a photography business that's thriving and be able to put your family first. You shouldn't have to pick. I wanted to make this video for you really quick because I want you to see that you don't need to invest thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars before you get your photography business rocking and profitable. In fact, I really believe that you want to start your photography business with the minimum and then as it makes money, then let it pay for itself because all of the equipment you buy is a write-off. The mistake I see so many people making is they get in Stucksville because they tell themselves, oh, I'm not ready to be an official photographer yet because I don't have all these fancy lights and all this equipment. So let me just go through really quickly the key things that you're going to need. First, a professional camera, a DSLR that can blow images up big. I am not a techie, so I don't even wanna get into specs with you, but call B&H or Adorama, one of the large camera companies in New York City, and ask for their photo department, tell them what you're doing, and get their recommendation on what's new and what you need. You don't need the best of the best of the best. In fact, you probably can buy a trade-in, because I know when I buy new cameras, I trade in my old camera. You could buy one on eBay, or heck, you could even borrow one. You don't have to go spend a bunch of money, okay? Borrow one, do photos for somebody in trade, and then make the money to buy your own camera that you really want. Second, a good portrait lens. Now, most cameras, when you buy them, you buy them just with the body, but most come with a kit. So you get a small lens that's usually, I don't know, 24 to 70 or 24 to 105 or whatever it is, but it gives you some close-up variety and some far away so you can zoom. I love this 70 to 200. It's sort of my workhorse portrait lens. It would be my first one that I really want after I get the kit lens. But again, make the money first. You don't have to have it. For portraits, 85 to 100 is a really beautiful portrait length, but this one is just such a workhorse and I absolutely love it. Again, pick one up secondhand. Could work great for you. Number three, Photoshop and Lightroom. You've got to have editing software. I love and do everything in Photoshop. Andrea, who works for me, does everything in Lightroom and a little bit in Photoshop. So learn those tools. They're super critical to your success. Number four, a printer. Right? like a little inkjet printer to sit on your desk. You've gotta be able to print out forms and different communication that you need. Once or twice a year, I'll do a free challenge for anybody who wants to join it. And I give everybody a workshop and every day for five days, I give them homework. And I'm shocked with how many people say, oh, I don't have a printer. And I think, how are you running a photography business without a printer? So have a printer, they're not expensive, get the ink and you have it. You need to have a printer, you will love it. You gotta have a computer, all right, you just do. I know they're expensive, but gosh, the prices come down. You can buy secondhand. You need a desktop so that you can color correct. So if you can only get one computer, I would recommend getting a desktop computer. Of course, a laptop is amazing. And especially when you're learning to build your presentations, you can plug into your client's TV sets and you can project in their home pretty easily. So that makes you mobile, but you gotta have a computer. You have to have somewhere to put your professional files. So hopefully you already have that one because who doesn't want a new computer? I do. Number six, a Wacom and pen, right? This is a tablet. This is how you retouch. This is how you get in and you can circle, you know, acne or you can move heads if you need to move heads from different bodies. If you're retouching with a mouse, it's like caveman days trying to use a big rock to do things that you need this tiny pen for. We have a really big one that we use. You don't need to have one this big, but definitely put it on your list because they are great to have. Look, I know this can get overwhelming, so I'm putting a link in the description so that you can see in detail how as a mom with three kids, I was able to save for college and save for retirement. And I did all of that by becoming a boutique photographer. So that is there for you. Number seven, a reflector. Look, these are not expensive. This is a Westcott reflector. And what I love about it is it zips up so it's easy to grab on the go. And you, when I unpack it, it literally, watch this, woo, pops right up. I've got silver, I've got 
a light silver, more of a white. Sometimes there's another layer we call a scrim that's like see-through vinyl if you need to block the sun. But that's really about all you need, a camera and a reflector, and you're really good to go. Number eight, extra camera batteries. Whenever I buy a camera, I get an extra battery so that one can be charging while I'm having a session, or if I'm leaving the studio for a session, I have two full batteries, so important. And then of course, the smaller batteries, if any of your equipment uses AA, AAA, keep extra batteries. Number nine, a system for backing up files. So here you see is my 2021 Sarah's laptop backup. These are not expensive anymore, but there's one called a time machine that you can hook up Google that and we plug it in every day. It backs up. So it kind of compresses it and backs it up. Just like when you get a new phone, it'll do a backup and restore. That way all your working files are protected. You don't have to remember it. If it's a desktop, just keep it plugged in all the time and you're backing up every single day. So important for photographers to back those files up. That's what you have to sell. And if you lose them, it's painful. I don't want you to have that happen ever. And of course, number 10, a professional photo lab. You cannot be printing at Walgreens and hoping the hourly employee can color correct and manage any kind of exposure that come one day green and then they're orange and then they're purple. That is not acceptable. Please get a pro lab. If you don't have a pro lab that thrills you, I use White House Custom Color whcc.com. If you don't have a pro lab that thrills you, go check them out. They're literally amazing. I will never leave. I love them, love them, love them. So if you're going to be a professional, use a pro lab, please. Look, I just gave you 10 essential tools to get your photography business going. Don't get paralysis by analysis. Go do it now. Just start.